Oh, it's a quick trip to Savers on a Sunday. Are you down with that? Why are we filming? I don't know. I figured uh, you I... You don't have my permission to film. Hey, stop filming me. Oh, I want to be a manager. Sorry, sorry, You want to see my manager? What the heck does that mean? Let's go to Savers. I hope so. Good. Go find a pogo stick. I actually found at Savers somebody's scrapbook dedicated to Leaf Garrett. This is actually awesome. It's like all Tiger Beat magazine clippings. Somebody actually donated this to Savers. There's three of them. What's the scrapbook? Leaf's photo. Wow, somebody loved Leaf Leaf Garrett. This is wild. These are all at Savers. How ridiculously cool. Hmm, not bad. And then $3.99 for a Snoopy Snowcomb machine. I guess sometimes they price stuff decent here and other times it's pretty awful. A ridiculous amount of stereo equipment. Stop. All right, well, Savers continues to be the most... Well, no, that's not true. Savers, Savers was uneventful today. It's not a bad place. I like it. Um, you know, I would actually really like to be a full-time flipper, you know, goodwill hunter kind of thing. Because um, Savers was just stocked today with tons of stuff. And they're... Um, grass in my mouth. Their, uh, their electronic prices are horrible, I think. I mean, there was two Blu-ray players there for 13, 13 bucks a piece or so, and one of them wouldn't even turn on. You could plug it in and wouldn't even turn on. And then um, the other one, I had to press the door opener like five or six times to get the door to open. But still, like, I, I, like people have to be able to make money on some of that stuff. Some of that old stereo equipment. I don't know. Maybe they can't. But you got to think, like, walking up and down the clothing aisle, there's got to be room to flip stuff there. But it, it's so much time and effort would have to go into it. Anyway, we're home. And I, gotta, I was going to mow this back lawn today. But uh, it's soaking wet. Like, really swampy wet. And I don't want to ruin the lawn, so I'm not going to do it. Um, but I have to. I have to pick up this patio. This this uh, this junky old container, like storage unit, fell apart uh, this year in the wind. It blew over and broke. So I got to empty it and then like take it apart and just toss it on the curb. Uh, I'll clean that up today. And. That's about it. Uh, I got the second weed whacker for like $25. I'm going to put that together or, or like, you know, tune it up a little bit and and, um, and start it and see, see how good it runs. Put some new line in it, some thicker line. I really wanted to mow today. Like really, really wanted to mow this back lawn today, but it is, it's impossible. I'll put horrible, you know, digs in the lawn. And I don't want to do that. Maybe I'll take down this stupid fire pit today and just dump all that stuff. Cause I wanted a tabletop fire pit. This is turning into another Sunday hanging out with me. We'll go down in the cave later and do some stuff. I don't know what, maybe we'll just go through some stuff. I don't know, but all right, let's, uh, let's get this, let's get this thing cleaned out.
let's see, where can I, I don't want to put the tripod, I could, could bring the tripod out here, couldn't I? Probably could, what am I going to set the camera on? I don't know, um, well, probably nothing, so let's just go through this real quick. Actually, I'm going to set it on the window without it falling. Don't fall. If it falls, it's going to fall. The, 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 the window ledge is slanted. It has to fall eventually. All right. <clears throat> um, can you even see me anymore? No, you can't see me. All right. Well, I'll just do this by myself. <laughs> I'll be right back. Uh, all right the big stupid thing down ton to clean up there's the big pile of crap i actually got this off the curb like five years ago and like painted you know spray painted it up that's why it's all chipped and stuff it was junk and then and then but these are like 300 dollars. these snap together plastic outdoor storage things but i gotta line it up near the trash our garbage man barely takes anything other than what's in the dumpster so this will take me a couple of weeks to throw out, believe it or not. And then all these leaves, ugh. These sunflowers are honestly from mice. I can almost guarantee you that, like where are all these sunflowers coming from? That's insanity. I gotta sweep all this out. All right, let's start lugging this to the curb. Well, not the curb, though, but near the dumpster. This is the stuff I'm salvaging. This is the the culprit. That's the bag of bird seed. I don't know how mice get in that. It's sealed. And then this was the stuff that was in it that I can salvage. Everything else gets tossed. All right, it's uh, not even close to cleaned up, but I I hate trying to clean out here when it's not time yet because it's wet and I can't get any of these sunflower seeds up. So we just have to wait till it dries <clears throat> and then I'll blow them off. But I just, I hate the in-between, like this, you know, the leaves. I hate, hate in-between summer and, and winter. I hate it. I, I mean, you know, this is a mess. We got stuff everywhere that, you know, nothing is set up. The garden looks like garbage. You know, there's bags and plastic cups that have blown out of the garden. I, I hate it. I hate, hate, hate the in-between. hate it. Um, and the lawn's length is driving me absolutely insane, but there's nothing I can do today. You can see I just drove the tractor to the shed and it already put a huge, you know, dent in the lawn. It'll be muddy. The dogs will be a mess. That, that clothesline needs, I, I honestly, I'd rip that clothesline down if I could. We, I put it up years ago and all we do is use it in the summer to hang towels on. It's just a total waste in my yard and it's hard to mow over there and I gotta like back everything up but yeah this the the in-between I hate now the dandelions are coming up I hate those uh, my dapple willows they're gonna look good this year those are gonna look like those those are obviously not full right now when they're full you know in season they block out that entire section of fence you can't even see it and I'm hoping that these will do I know these will do the same thing but yeah, it's just so much, ugh. ugh. I don't even wanna like look out here until, <sighs> look, you can hear me like sloshing in the yard. <laughs> look, all the grass is growing over into the pool rocks. I just hate this. I hate this, uh, this time of year. So I put that out during a warm spell. Now I regret it because it's already dirty. The dog's laying on it. It's, God, I don't know. Uh, this is awful. But hopefully in the summer, this will all be cleaned up and looking good. But yeah, it's the worst in the winter. All right. It's uh, 10 o'clock Sunday night. The kids are still up. Still up. Sunday nights are awful. They don't, they don't settle down. It takes forever to get them settled. So I don't know. I'm going to make some leftovers like from dinner and then if Finley doesn't start screaming uh for somebody to lay with him then I will creep downstairs and we'll finish out the night in the cave I'm actually I was gonna watch Nightmare on Elm Street 4 I think I'm gonna watch wrestling I think uh 
Yes, I will give you a shout out, Andrew. My friend Andrew, or S. Claus, as he is in my phone, uh, giving you your shout out. Here it is. Shout out to Andrew. Uh, I think I'm going to watch wrestling downstairs. I think. I think. I'm, I'm like on match three of the April Madison Square Garden show. And I still have to figure out how I'm going to do wrestling with the past. So that it's not like too photo heavy. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do it the way I've always done it. Who knows? Um uneventful day on a Sundays are just Sunday Sundays Sundays when we bowl are great days I love Sunday mornings um when we don't bowl it's not a good day the kids are very difficult to entertain they want to be you know they want they, they basically want to be entertained all day they get bored they would play Fortnite. Their mother gets mad at them after like an hour of Fortnite. So then it's like noon and they have nothing to do. Nothing to do. So then I'm, end, you know, I end up playing football. I end up playing basketball. Dinner is always, you know, it's Sunday. I love Sundays. I like, I love Sunday mornings. Sunday evenings, not so much. I usually have to work at 9. I have a 9 tomorrow and a 10. <sighs> um, all right, let me get some leftovers going and then I'm going to I'm going to head downstairs. All right. It's 10 after 11 and they're finally asleep kind of. I just laid with Liam for a little while. I had a long talk with him. He's been um Hang on, let me turn the light on. He's been doing, like, perfectly fine with this EOE thing. Probably to the point where if we did another endoscopy today, I would assume that the that the eosinophils are gone. Um, because he's just eating like normal. But, as I, as I was afraid, he is expressing some anxiety about it. And said that he wants to be normal again. And... That broke my heart because I've said the same thing, right? Like father, like son. How wonderful of me to plant that idea in his head, which I did not do. I, I have never, you know, I've never, maybe I have, I don't know. Maybe I have said those words, I don't know. But we had a good talk and he's, uh, he's fine. I'm fast-forwarding wrestling here. Um, King Kong Bundy versus Swede Hansen up next. That should be fun. <laughs> I expect this to be a kind of a good match. Uh, it probably won't be. Um, I think. I think. I think I expected. Who was it? Like Swede Hansen and. Like Blackjack Mulligan or somebody to be a good match last year, you know, 84. I, I don't know, maybe it was early 85. Anyway, um, yeah, we're down here. This room, I, I know I always say this, but this room is really feels good. I know I've said it's never felt better in the past, but it feels really good down here. Really good. I think the, the, the bookshelves being gone just adds a whole new, like, I even like that section, even though it was all just thrown together. Um, the room just feels uh, a little bigger, a little bigger without the bookshelves. And, uh, yeah, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna hang down here tonight, probably an hour, and then I'll go up to bed. I mean, I gotta work, like I said, nine and ten tomorrow, and then I'm home until, I think, two I hope it's two. I hope it's not one. It only gives me an hour at home. Or two hours, anyway. Um, Alright, let's watch King Kong Bundy versus Swede Hansen. And then I'll figure out how to do... I'll figure out how to do wrestling with the past. We can't let it go. we got to bring it back. But Alright, I'm going to watch TV. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely a smaller TV. 
than, than the TV that I'm used to watching wrestling on. But it's got a vibe. It's got a feel. Let me let me get you real quick so we don't get copyrighted. There you go. We didn't get copyrighted on that one. It's it's got a feel, you know, on the small TV. It's got a it's got a look to it. It's okay. Uh, Bundy versus Sweet Hansen is just getting started. I'm going to get cozy as I can on this couch. And uh, I don't know. The next match is the Bulldogs. It's the Bulldogs match. They the you know, gorilla said. I don't know. They, it's weird that they announced the next match before they even did this one. But um, you got Bundy and Swede staring each other down. You know, if they would have given these guys like proper time, this could have been an interesting little brawl. Uh, they lock up. Bundy backing Swede into the ropes. Swede pushes them off. They stare at each other. Yeah, you know, if, if WWF would allow, you know, fun brawls, Back then, Sweet Hansen and Bundy would have been a good match, but I got a feeling it's not going to be good. Trading blows. All right, let me watch this. So this has been a very interesting, enjoyable card so far. And I will review it. I look forward to doing it. The British Bulldogs, Rene Goulet and Johnny Rods, uh, Ricky Steamboat, Moondog Spot, Hogan, Hogan and Don Morocco so far. I've been waiting to see Hogan versus Don Morocco for, since this began. So I'm going to really enjoy this match. So I'm going to hang out down here a little bit longer, then I'll go upstairs and we'll uh, wrap it up. All right, well... I came up to get something to drink. Forgot to turn the TV off. Not gonna ruin it, not gonna spoil it till we do wrestling with the past, but that was that was an interesting match between Hogan and Morocco. Very um got to see a very scientific side of of the Hulkster. Ugh. Let me turn everything off and we'll go upstairs. A second. Um, let me get the light. So yeah, it's uh, it's good to be down here again. Um, good to be in the room, cleaned up, put the way I want it. It's good to be. It's after midnight. It's closer to one. I got to get up at like eight thirty tomorrow. And. Uh, work. All right, I'm going to get on the couch with my dog, close the curtains as usual. Is my internet off? Hang on. Yeah, I think, I think the internet is off for some reason. This TV jumped offline. That's annoying. That happens. Let's see if it's back. Nope. Uh, anyway, I'll have to, uh, yeah, I'll have to, um, probably not watch anything tonight because this TV jumps offline a lot and it's extremely annoying. So, yeah. All right. Uh, eh, you'll watch this on Monday. We'll also do a, uh, LJN's Revisited and, um, Try to get back in the daily swing of things on the channel. See y'all tomorrow. Good night now.